G'day guys and welcome to the next installment in my EMB gameplay series. Okay, so today we have installed Fireman AF's uh, very new Semi-Realis EMB. Um, I absolutely love this preset. Um, it just suits my setup really well and I find I actually don't have to change anything with it. It's just plug and play. And we thought we'd check it out in Cyrodiil. Um, I haven't actually been into this area uh, with this new build, so yeah, it's been a really long time since I've um, wandered down into Bruma. Huh? So I thought we'd do that today. Oh, is that my horse? Ah, oh, that's right, M3, it is my horse. We won't take the horse. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to cloud over a bit. So I have um, oh, a handful of mods loaded um, for Bruma. Oh, hang on a sec, there's some wolves up ahead here. Oh, right in the butt, ow. Look out, deer. Oh, you were too slow. Uh, so obviously we've got the uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod and alongside that we have the uh, tree lod billboards for Beyond Skyrim Bruma and you'll find those on the normal um, vanilla, not vanilla, um, the old rim uh, Nexus. Let's grab my arrow there. And also have the DLC integration patch along with um, tweaks and enhancements for Beyond Skyrim Bruma. And a fairly new mod by uh, Luxor8071 uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma Overhaul HD. So that just um, overhauls a lot of the textures um, in this area. Um, probably looking at some right there. Yeah, he's got some amazing retexture mods, um, so I'd highly recommend that one. Actually, let's just quickly pop inside and uh, see what the lighting's like in here, and also the textures. Yeah, really nice. Love those bricks. And as you can see, um, can help you? the lighting is just absolutely perfect for me and for this setup. Um, I don't actually feel like I have to change a thing. Um, I love the colour. Um, I love the intensity. Um, yeah. Good morning. It's not too Hello. bright. It's not too dark. It's just perfect. I love it. Uh, yeah, good morning. Yeah, so we've got a nice early start. It's uh, five past nine. What is it? Uh, nothing. Just checking out you're in. All right, let's get back out into that crazy weather. Uh, yeah, just a couple of other mods I have installed for Bruma. Uh, I've got CBBE Kirby Body Armor Conversions for Bruma um, because that's the body I go with. So I just thought it'd uh, look a little nicer having uh, all the armors in this area uh, fitting the female bodies uh, a little bit better. Um, I also have the white gold tower fix for Bruma. That's just a um, lot issue, fixes a lot issue. Uh, another fairly new mod, uh, Statue of Harvest in Bruma. Uh, there is a farm just up uh, up on the hill behind Bruma, and I'm pretty sure the statue is added to that farm. Uh, we might actually check that out in this video, see if we can find it. Who the hell is that guy? That's uh, something I've got to fix too. You see that square around the body? Um, Yeah, I'm not 100% why, uh, knowing why that's actually happening, so yeah, I need to do some research into that. I think it's to do with enhanced blood textures, but you see here, it's not an issue, so yeah, that one's a little weird, but then you can see it again there. Strange. Poor horse. Uh, 
and uh, one other mod um, it's called Mashup Milhail Bruma Wolves so we already had a quick look at those just before uh, let's not follow the road let's just uh, go cross country here actually is there anything up here might be a cave or something hopefully skeleton oh, oh. no okay oh okay plenty of septums let's just grab all those wow there's a lot of gold there that must have been like a bandit stash hidden stash Alright, so you can see we're in the middle of a bit of a snowstorm here. Um, looks pretty cool, I like it. That's a mighty fine statue. Wow, that's impressive. Um, yeah, we can't actually see too much just at the moment. Hopefully the weather clears up later and we um, get to see a little further. So, yeah, now there is uh, one issue um, with regards to tree logs. Um, if you're running anything other than vanilla trees, then uh, when you come into Bruma, um, all the distant trees, all the lods, are going to be vanilla. And then as you get close, the trees are going to change to your um, tree mod. Um, yeah, it's not very nice. Uh, it looks terrible, obviously. Um, quite a nasty transition between the two. Um, so what I've done here is actually run Dindu Lod um, for Bruma, just for the trees. Um, I actually had it already installed for all of Tamriel. Um, and that was basically all lords, including tree lords. And then I just ran tree lords for Bruna. Um, that's why I actually have installed the tree lord billboards for Beyond Skyrim Bruma. And as you can see, I'm running um, Skyrim 3D trees and plants. So with a combination of that um, and running Dindu Lord for Bruma, um, then you'll get correct tree lots uh, off in the distance so they'll match your close-up trees um, actually what I might do is just clear the weather up so we can actually see oops it's a little better okay we can see Bruma yay um, who was talking just then? No idea. And we're following the track again, so let's, um... Oh, okay. I do believe we have bandits up here. Oh, yep. Oh, I thought I was going to get the headshot there. Where'd you go? Yeah, I can see you. Shoot him in the arm. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Damn, that's some good armor you got on there. Did you see that arrow just bounce? <laughs> it still did enough though. Oh, Cyrodiil, a treasure map one. Thank you. We may have to go on a treasure hunt. I don't know if I have a pickaxe. I think I might take it. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'd like to get the whole set. The uh, woodcutter's axe. Pickaxe. Now, I do believe you can get a shovel. Yeah, so you can see the tree lord's a little better there. Um, if I hadn't run Dindy Lord, then I would just have vanilla. 
uh, tree billboards off in the distance there. And obviously they would not be matching these snow trees, for example, at all. It would be the, um, the white pine looking lods, which would look terrible. So yeah, running ginger lod um, helps to match all that up. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if I should have come this way now. I would like to go over and check that place out. Wow, this is where the double jump comes in really handy. Actually, I have a crazy idea. I'm wondering if I could make it across there with a double jump. Oh yeah, I'm going to make it easy. Wow. That's huge. That's awesome. Poor old Takosha. She's going to have to go the long way. I've got a feeling there could be something nasty up here. Yeah, maybe not. Yep, yep. Oh, she caught up quick. Okay, this guy's pretty tough. Oh, took his legs out. See that? Nasty. Damn. Look at the size of this weapon, this two-handed weapon. I'm surprised I can even swing it. It's huge. Alright, back to the chest. Ebony arrows. Oh, that'll look cool. Might grab those. Uh, I don't think there's much else over there, so we'll probably get back on the track now and, um, Make our way up to the city of Bruma. Okay, that's looking a little steep. Might just try something here with a double jump. Yeah, that works. Cool. Oh, sorry, Talk. You'll have to go around. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I so want to shoot you, but I won't. Wow, two rabbits. Oh. Who's this? Ooh, he doesn't look friendly. Dude, you gotta stop running at me like that. Dude, stop. Uh, I tried to warn him. And he's got nothing on him I want. These trees, these pink trees, something different. They look really nice. Oh, let's see if we can save the deer. Being chased by a bear. Jump, move, do something. Yeah, you weren't ready for that, were you? Whoa, what happened to my last arrow? Ooh. Let's see if I can get my arrows. Ooh. 
and some symptoms. Cool. Damn, there's a lot of deer. Look at them all. Well. Okay, I think we missed a track up to Bruma too. Actually, we'll just quickly have a look at the river. Check out a few of the textures. Yeah, it's all looking pretty nice. I like it. Alright, here we go. A uh, Bruma this way. Should get a decent view up here too. Yeah, so I just find the lighting um, with this semi-realis AMB um, really natural. Um, I've actually just completely forgotten to even talk about it and mention it because it just feels so right. Um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. Um, I think it's going to be my go-to AMB for the um, foreseeable future. And... Um, as you know, uh, Fireman AF is an absolute god when it comes to making EMBs. Um, he really knows what he's doing. So you can see um, there's no actual uh, information uh, down to the south there. Um, so poor old Dindu Lod um, can't really create uh, any decent lods for it because the information's not there because it's um, yeah it's not made yet, it's not built. So um, that's the only downside to running. Um, didn't do a lot in this area um, you will not get any uh, decent lords uh, off in the distance there but if you can put up with that um, then you get um, yeah good lord everywhere else and good tree lords which is always important Oh, that was the uh, town, um, not the town, the um, farm, Apple Watch. So I'm pretty sure that's where the statue of Harvest um, has been added. Yeah, so there's not actually that many mods for um, Bruma or Beyond Sky and Bruma just yet. I think there are about Please, three Vada, pages on the just Nexus. One step dim. Sure. The prey approaches. Prey. Bless you, madam. Bless you. You really shouldn't tell cool people prey when they're about to give you money. See you. See you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon? Oh yeah, it's like three past two already. Oh, okay, we've got the shop here. I'm going to go in. Icewind Traders. Let's quickly check out his wares. And the shot. And the lighting. And the textures. Yeah, nice. Ooh, that rug looks really good. Greetings, greetings. Welcome oh. to Icewind Traders. Well, thank you. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Oh, is that right? Welcome to Icewind Traders. If you don't see what you need out here, let me know. Might have it in the back. Okay, well, what do you have for sale? Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Okay, we don't want any of your weapons. And, 
yeah, you do have a fair bit. But we don't actually want any of it. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so you see again the lighting, um, it's just spot on. Um, really happy with it. I just don't feel like I need to change anything, which is so refreshing. I can just, like I said before, plug and play. And a good thing about um, most of uh, Fireman AF's uh, EMBs, actually, they um, all come in um, three varieties, like a full quality version, which obviously is quite performance heavy. I'm probably looking at around 20 to 25 frames drop here. Um, and then you've got the um, more performance friendly versions underneath that, so uh, you always have the option to um, yeah get a bit of performance back if you need it. I've never actually tried those versions, but I'm sure they look um, pretty good. Leo. Marcius Carve, Viscount Bruma. The title garners a lot of respect and a fair few privileges. Anyway, how can I help you? Ah, uh, you can actually. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up, though. I really wanted to know who you were. Castle Bruma. Let's quickly go inside and check it out. Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sakaviri heirlooms gallivanting around Bruma, have you? Uh, no heirlooms, sorry. As I suspected, sorry to bother you, citizen. Just, uh, let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. I do believe I said heirlooms in it. <laughs> I meant heirlooms. <laughs> Silent H. Sorry about that, it's late, I'm tired. Uh, what's all this about, Akaviri heirlooms? A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's what. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. Oh. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. Well, it turns out poor old Count Desilus... <coughs> Count Carvane... <laughs> ...isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. Uh, could you use some help searching for them, maybe? I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely! This is driving me crazy! I thought so. Just bring them back to me when you've found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I feel like offing myself right about now. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. See you around. Yeah. Hopefully we can find some heirlooms for you. Uh, we don't want to go to the barracks. So I'm pretty sure Luxor 8071 has um, been uh, touching this up. And it just looks a little nicer than I remember with um, the textures. I may serve Count Carvane, but I take commands from the guard captain. Okay. Dining hall. See if we can find the kitchen. I don't know why, but I think the kitchens always look so nice. <laughs> Actually, that could have been it. Or not. Maybe this one. Yeah, this looks like a kitchen. So you got a big walk-in pantry, I'm guessing. Very nice. Ooh, yummo. Yeah, Probably shouldn't steal anything while I'm here. Yep, I'll say it again. Just the right amount of lighting. Love it. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, where's this go? Oh, 
the Lord's Manor. Should we? We'll just have a sneak peek. Probably not supposed to be in here. Okay, there's a guard right there. Uh, I don't think they really mind, actually. Must be... Oh, hello. <laughs> Must be open to the public. Oh, we're in his bedroom. Wow, it's big and empty. Okay, we're done. Thanks. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here? Criminal. You've broken Imperial law. Oh, crap. I'd advise you pay your fine or head to jail. Hey, the last lady didn't care. Um, hmm, should we take her on? Probably not. Okay, you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Oh, five Let's gold. Let's get this straightened really? out. Your stolen goods are going back to their rightful owners, and you're coming with me. Hey, I don't have any stolen goods. Well, I don't think I have any stolen goods. Actually, maybe I had a couple of stolen goods. From Tamriel, though. That shouldn't count here. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we've, um... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Ma'am? Yeah, I think we've worn out our welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, I think the market's um, just up this way a bit. We'll check that out. So I'm not really planning on starting any quests um, this time around. I just want to wander around Cyrodiil um, and Bruma and um, just check out the lighting and just check the place out in general, really. Tempting. What is it? Uh, nothing. Oh, we don't want to break in there. Ah, this looks like an inn. The restful watchman. Have a look in here. Oh yeah. Can I help you? This looks really sleazy. I like it. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we can get some gossip. The restful watchman. Oh, your lips aren't moving. Food, that's what we do. You here to do business? Oh, actually, um, have you heard anything about stolen Akaviri I don't heirlooms? tend to gossip about my patrons. Bad for business, you know. Especially when you're in my line of work. Uh, just tell me, I don't want any legal complications. Well, true enough. Got him. There's this Breton guy who comes through here every now and again. Sleaziest guy I've ever seen. Except for me, of course. Got a reputation to maintain, you know? Name's Atien, Or something like that. Anyway, he mentioned something to do with Akaviri trinkets while we spoke. Ooh. Mentioned wanting to sell them, or something. I guess he's your man. Sounds like it. Uh, where can I find this guy? Uh, I don't know. Listen, do you really think I'm going to tell you everything about my customers? That's a sure way to get run out of this business. Mm, true. Um, do we want to push him any further? No, we don't. Bye. Hello. Because we did say we weren't going to do any quests. We're just going to wander around. <laughs> Oh, what have we got here? A cat above. Okay. Might be a butcher, maybe? Uh, yeah. Uh, lots of meat. And meat. salt. Cut above the rest. Get it? Sorry, old job. Uh, who said that? Where are you? Uh, that's a little weird. Your shop's upstairs. And I'm now in your... Welcome to a cut above! Sleeping See any quarters. cuts you like? Let me know. 
Okay, I'll just uh, check it out and then I'll let you know. <laughs> or I'll just take it and walk out the door. But yeah, we don't want any mate. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, leave. Mm, brick wall. Okay, what else we got? Mm, nah, we don't want to go visit that guy because we don't know him. All right, let's um. Oh, have a look here. Nope. <laughs> let's uh, head back into the uh, wilderness. Want my advice? Yeah, Always sure. carry a good stock of potions and restoratives around with you. Yep. Never know when you'll be lying on the ground bleeding out. Oh, ain't that the truth? Yeah, I got plenty of potions. Thank you. We're so close to Skyrim. I'm surprised the war hasn't spilled down here yet. Yeah, give it time. Oh wow, it's ten to six. I thought it was getting a little dark. Um, all right, we better push on somewhere. We may have to uh, pitch a tent for the night if we can't find somewhere else to uh, sleep. And the path is so mainstream, let's uh, just head straight off the mountain. Sorry, Toc. She hates it when I do this. Just a fox. Oh, people. Bodyguard. Self important idiot. I had to rescue him from bandits once after he approached them to get into their mindset. Quintus, really? How embarrassing. Oh wow, I'm loving this snowfall. So light. Very pretty. What is that? Oh, more mushrooms. More toadstools. Let's grab those. Wow, there is a lot of deer. They are everywhere. Oh. Okay, we've got a uh, shack, maybe? Let's check out the shack. I don't remember seeing this place last time I was here. It was a long time ago, but um, I'm sure that wasn't there. Might be a new addition. Actually, we might be able to just um, sleep here. Oh, Riverside Shack. Sleep here the night and then uh, head out in the morning. Huh? That could be a plan. Oh, okay. It's um, a little run down. Oh, yeah, we can sleep. Cool. Um, and my god. They weren't joking when they said shack. Oh. This is it. It's tiny. Oh, there's a note there. Went down into the basement to get father's old mag magic sword. I can't leave it behind. Gavros. Okay. Well, let's um, go into the basement and see if it's still there. Ow. Ow, what the hell? Uh, what? Jesus. Why can't I get my weapons out? Um, actually, that's not really going to help me right now. Uh, 
Okay, I think we got them all. Well, actually. Oh, no. This one hiding in the back there. So I'm pretty sure I killed one. And good old Takota killed the rest. Perfect. Oh, here's this guy. Yeah, he's had better days. What have we got here? Not much. Oh. Oh. Glossomo Stormblade. Yes, please. Okay, let's check out the Stormblade. There she is. Um, 17 damage. Okay, not a huge amount. Target takes 10 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Yeah, not too bad. What's it look like? Whew, bright. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind it. Alright, it's been a big day, so let's um, sleep right through the night. Um, sleep until about 20 past 7 the next morning. Did you sleep at all, Toc? Or did you just stand there, staring at me? It's a bit creepy, eh? Hey, look, a deer. They actually look pretty nice. Whoa! When you can see them, what the hell? I didn't imagine that, did I? You guys saw that. Oh cool, looks like we're going to get some rain now. So we're sort of getting all weather conditions today. Awkward to get down. Oh, it's doing this weird thing. It's raining over half of my screen only. I've had this happen before. It's really weird some kind of bug. Um, I don't know how to fix it as of yet. Um, so if you guys do know how to stop it raining over half of your screen, it's like the transition just follows your player as well. Really weird. Uh, maybe it's to do with um, cathedral, cathedral weathers not being properly um, compatible with Beyond Sky and Bruma. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, if you guys know how to fix it, well, let me know down below. That'd be great. Actually, we'll try something here. We'll just do a save and then load it quickly. fixed it. And what the hell was that? Oh, I see. Is that a troll? It doesn't look friendly, so I'm just going to kill it. I'm going to try and kill it. Yo, there you go. River troll. And we dropped him. Marking a track? I don't think so. 
Let's just keep going this way. Oh, which way are you going? Make up your mind. Damn. I think they heard me. Oh yeah, he heard me. Where are you going, buddy? Shit you in the knee. Shit you in the knee. Whoa, he's coming for me. Oh, it's a cut I got him. Ooh, check out Greenwood for a bounty on the ogres. Okay. Wow, 251 septums. Thank you. I bet the bounty wouldn't be as much as that. Oh, do we want some ogre teeth? Wow, look at those beauties. That's why you should always clean your teeth, keys. Another 250 septums. I just feel compelled to walk across there. <laughs> just because it's so different. So different to anything in Tamriel. Oh, there's another river troll. I see you. I can't. I'm struggling to see you now. Damn it, he's moving. Stop moving. Oh, got him. Critical strike. Um, are you right there? Talk, what are you doing? Ah, were you going for the crab? You right now? Uh, okay, must have been another one. something. Two bears over there. Wow, how cool is that sunlight shining through the trees over there where the bears are on the ground? That is awesome. Wow, I thought I was going to hit the ground then. I was about to panic. Anger. Anger, maybe. Um, I feel we probably shouldn't go in there because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a quest later on. So I'll probably pop in there in another video.
But what I would like to do is check for a bounty on those ogres we killed before. Um, not quite sure where to go though. Um, where would it be? Greenwood, and that would be ah right next to us. Wow, <laughs> we're almost we're almost at the spot. That is crazy. All right, let's um. How do we get up there? Aha, there it is. Wow, that was quite a trip to Greenwood. Greenwood still as beautiful as she ever was. Yeah, I agree. I like it. It's very cute. Um, oh, by the way, I cleared out the ogres infesting the source. Okay. Excellent. Now we can get Greenwood mead production back on track. Ooh, sounds Thank good. Thank you, my friend. Here, take this coin. Oh yeah, how much will this be? What is it? Oh, six hundred. We only got 500 odd from the ogres themselves, so yeah, 1100 right there, awesome. Afer Familius. So this is where Greenwood Mead comes from? Yes indeed. Greenwood Mead is enjoyed all over Cyrodiil, and we're the proud family that makes it all. A nice, calm, quiet life. Suits me nicely. Kill. Cool. Until next time. Yes, until we meet again. Alright, well that was successful. Okay, so we've made some decent coin. We've only been in the area for maybe half an hour. Um, yeah, we're doing good. Um, let's just wander up through here for a bit. Oh, hello. You don't look very friendly. Yeah, you're not friendly at all. Yeah, we don't want your pelt. Um, so you can see the textures on the old wolves there look pretty awesome, actually. So yeah, that's coming from the uh, that mod that I mentioned before, the Mashup Milhail uh, Bruma Wolves. Oh! Oh god, we've got wolves and a bear. Where is my aiming? There it is. Anyone else? Anyone? Now, a funny thing. Um, you might have just seen how big that ice shard was. I actually just really recently downloaded a mod which is supposed to make the ice shards like maybe a third that size and it doesn't appear to have made them any smaller. So I'm going to have to look into that because I think they just look totally unrealistic, the vanilla ones, and they're way too big and it annoys me so... Yeah, I want to know why this mod's not working. Um, looks like we've got some more ruins up here. Let's just uh, see what's here. Okay, is that it? I guess so. Oh, another bear. And another deer. No, nope, that one died. That wasn't very nice, Mr. Bear. Oh, 
unmarked cave. Um, okay. Uh, unmarked and unseen. Maybe it's over this little ridge here. Um, where is the cave? It looks like a path up there too. Uh, I did not see a cave. Ah, that was to the left. There it is. Let's uh, quickly check this out. I'm thinking there probably won't be a lot of lighting down here, being a cave. Or I could be wrong, it could be like daylight. Ah, uh, okay, there's a big hole in the roof. That explains it. Damn, that's a big hole. Oh, look, a bear. Let's get rid of him right now. Ouch, never saw it coming. Ah, I've got the overwhelming urge to jump. Pretty sure it's safe. Uh, yep, let's do it. Please don't die. Oh, look. Chest. Nice. Oh, gold. Yes, please. Oh, you know what? We'll take all of that. Man, I don't do that very often. Find a chest where I just clean it out. Yep. Uh, I do believe there's more grizzlies down here. Is that the one we shot? Must be. Yeah. Okay. Funny, the jump felt a lot further than that. Oh, I guess you keep my arrow. This guy didn't do too good. Uh, okay, so where's the other bear? He's playing with us. He knows these tunnels like the back of his hand, and we're completely lost. Plus, he can see in the dark. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. I haven't changed my um, magic back to my shout. Probably should do that right now. Um, we'll go to ice form. Oh, yeah, froze him. He went right through us. Oh, that kill him. That's no fun. Oh wow, I got both my arrows back. That's incredible. I do believe that's happened twice this playthrough. I'm on a roll. Wisp stalk. We'll take some of that. I like it. found a chest. Oh my god, I did it again. Cleaned the chest right out. Oh god, oh god, I hate these things. I thought they were skeevers, but they were rats. Damn, they were big rats. Hey, I don't think we did all the cave. I remember a much nicer piece. Piece of the cave. Yeah, we didn't do all the cave. Um... That's okay, we'll come back. And it's still raining.
Alright, I've actually got no idea how long we've been going for. I'm thinking it's a good half hour or more. Anyway, I hope that gave you a good feel of um, Flyman AF's Semi Realis EMB. Um, like I said, I absolutely adore it. Um, it's going to be my go to EMB when I'm just um, playing and not uh, recording. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys, uh, if you did then please leave a like, if you didn't well hit the dislike, um, please subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and we'll catch you guys in the next one, and thank you for all your support, really appreciate it, cheers.